YouTube, what's happening? It's your boy DVA Creations today. Not gonna be speaking too loud as for now. What we're gonna be doing is a review on the Dynavin. I think that's how it's uh, pronounced. The Dynavin something uh Pro Seven. I'm a uh, you guys gonna see what it is whenever I got it uploaded. And we're gonna get this review in real quick. Uh, basically, I've been having this thing since uh around the beginning of may or a little bit before and uh, i'm just gonna walk you guys through of you know any problems that i ever had with the radio um and what i like about it and all that other good stuff you know basically telling you guys you know a review about it so stay tuned we're gonna get into that all right so guys uh first thing first man uh let me see let me back this sucker up check it out uh the donovan does have a uh, backup camera that you could order with it but i didn't order it so i feel like mine should be good enough okay so besides the backup camera this is like the bluetooth menu right here we go go through each menu just the phone uh you know it goes through your contacts and everything hopefully i'm about to say hopefully i'll show my numbers and all that the voice i never tried the voice but I'm guessing, hold on, let me get out of there. Let me do the voice. Hello, hello. I guess the voice would be for this. Mute, you know, that's gonna work. Navigation, the navigation on here is pretty, it's not like, you know, from way back then or nothing like that. Seems like it's pretty updatable. Um, you also can update this thing too, by the way. It doesn't just show it like this, it shows like that as well. And um, judging by like where I'm at right now, honestly, any other maps wouldn't even pull that up. The satellite thing, I never tried that, so I don't know what that is. That looks like something for maybe all delays, flow events. Okay, just let you know uh, what the traffic and accidents and all the other stuff. Never went to that, like the traffic summary. That's what that is. It shows how fast I'm going too. Okay, back to what I was saying. Uh, it shows about how fast you're going too. And they do have speed alerts on this nav too, by the way. I won't be going too deep into the navigation on this one because I never tried it like that. This right here, this button is gonna set you to your, you know, menu, you know, like to the first thing, um, say like this, if I go to settings, where's it at? That button is there. You can see it right there. And uh, it basically is like a preset button. It'll go to anything that you set it to. Say like, see they got Bluetooth, radio, you know, as long as I press this button, it'll go straight to that. So let's go to the menu. You know, this is the menu right here. Band. Uh, thinking that's up. Yeah, yeah. Turn, turn them off, turn them off, turn them off, turn them off. Don't want to get uh, demonetized. Even though I ain't even getting monetized yet. Need some subscribers, man, so. Make sure you guys subscribe if you like this video. But uh, this is like pretty much my little review of the Donovan uh, N7 Pro. I believe that's what it's called. But uh, anyways, you go to USB and there's actually two USB uh, ports that have one that goes inside your uh, console right here. Well, you can plug it into your console and that'll be for the CarPlay. And you guys, you know, Y'all should already know how CarPlay works, so I shouldn't even have to, you know, explain that too much. So, SD card, you can put, like, SD cards, they'll be, like, down here, but this is for the nav right now. As you can see, uh, nav, maybe, a uh, memory card, you know, SD card goes right here. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can store certain, you know, stuff on it. You can also change, like, uh, the boot-up menu and all the other stuff from what I was told. <coughs> um, they have that <laughs> say like the logo and all that you can change all of that dude the iLink pro like i said that right there that's the little car play thing navigation we went through that radio you know boom whatever you know the little phone thing that had that as well um media that's just uh you know the media would be like any other media thing you know it, the bluetooth the usb the radio that's what the media is that's that's what those go to uh, SD card we already explained that the Bluetooth um, the way the Bluetooth does in this car I love the way it does and the way it does as soon as you uh, turn the car on your phone will connect automatically to the Bluetooth I'm not gonna explain like you know is that to the sync radio and all the other stuff 
if you can ask in the comments below about how I set up this radio, you know, and I could kind of do a how-to tutorial, but honestly, uh, it's going to be a long process. I did have to take out the little AC module. I did have to take that out. I had to take out the sink thing and also had to take out the CD player. So the only thing that actually goes back for this radio is just the radio and you put in all the plugins where they would go to like replace those parts that you had in there before. Um, as for the AC on here, honestly, it is super responsive. You see, as soon as I'm pressing the button, it's, you know, it's gone. Honestly, it feels like the AC has a little bit more power than before too. Uh, as for these heated seats, for the guys who have heated seats, they have heated seat buttons. So you can put those inside. And if you don't have heated seats, they have buttons that are like button deletes. You know, they're just gonna be blacked out. So that's how that looks. Um, Another thing, like I said, it is super responsive. You know, whenever you go to right here, it won't show the lowest setting, but whenever you go up, you see, it's climbing up fast. And if you hold down, it just, it'll just go down automatically, see. All right, defrost and all that other stuff works too. Um, all of that, like I said, is super responsive. I actually love the response on the uh, AC. Um, is there any type of lag that I notice with this? Every now and then, it all depends whenever I'm like going through the menus and all that, uh, more like the radio. Uh, so let's do something for instance. Okay, let's turn it off, we'll see what happens. And when I turn it on, okay. Now let's go to radio. Uh, the presets, they do have presets that you can't go off on here. This is how you get to all that. Oh, you could put Sirius uh, XM on here too, by the way. Forgot to mention that because I don't have Sirius XM. What is this, Nicki Minaj? As you can see, it shows uh, like the last radio, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, your, like your old stock radio would show. It shows, you know, what, what the station is on. It shows, you know, what, what's playing on there as well. It's another cool thing that I noticed. But like I said, I don't really go on there too much. Uh, but whenever you do go to Bluetooth, depending on what device you have, it'll show like, you know, how many minutes left on your video or stuff like that. It all depends what you go to in your apps on your phone. It's not gonna show um, everything. Cause sometimes when I'm on YouTube and if I'm on Bluetooth and I'm not on like uh, my iLink Pro at the bottom, which is the CarPlay, then it won't really show like what it's supposed to. Like, it won't show like the minutes and it won't show what video I'm on. It won't tell me anything, but it would be playing. So, another thing that I wanna talk about on this video when it comes to this radio is the sound quality. Honestly, if you ever hear anyone talking about the sound quality going up on this uh, radio, like when it comes to your speakers, especially whenever you have the premium package Mustangs, uh, it boosted it it really does boost it up and if i had to give it like a 9 out of 10 how much does it boost up i'd say uh about a 10 i'd say about a 10 out of 10 and you know what i'm saying and that's just me being honest i feel like it's a 10 out of 10 because whenever i'm playing music everything in here is amplified so um they do have a retention uh amplifier on here and whenever you plug that up that's whenever like say if you don't plug that up i think if you don't plug it up it'll make like it'll be so loud you'll be like at this setting and it'll be super loud um let me let me see if i can find a song for you guys i'm just gonna play anything This this is responsive as well. Alright, that's that's look look where it's at. Yeah. Look where it's at. Um honestly when it comes to this radio and the sound and all that, bro, I can like I I, I don't even put it mostly in the middle. Every now and then I'll put it in the middle whenever you know I turn the little deaf. But uh, if I really want to go deaf, 
yeah, turn it up max and see what happens whenever you come, you know, whenever you do that on this radio. I wouldn't advise it. You'll probably blow your speakers by the time you uh, hit max on here. I'm not too sure. It all depends. But, yo, that's that's just how uh, much it amplifies your radio. So uh, let's get out of this. And the AV, I'm able to play, like, games on this if I want to. I'll be honest. I can play games on it, on the AV. I put my Nintendo Switch in here before when it came to the AV. And I also... Uh, you can put like another little TV, like a headrest. You can put that up on, and you know what I'm saying you can mimic whatever you have right here. This thing doesn't come with CDs too, by the way. Everybody, you know, nobody really uses CDs anymore. So I mean, you know, for for those of you who do, this is not going to be your radio if you're going to be, you know, pretty upset about it. But honestly, you know, if you're a fan of CDs, you might want to not mess with this radio if it's going to burn you up that bad. But um, like I said, for the AV, I am able to convert this to HDMI, like the old uh, Raxium radio, which I do have the Raxium radio too, and I was able to play games on that one as well. Um, but the difference with this one is they have a certain setting for the AV on this, where whenever you're watching stuff and you're driving, but if you want your passengers to look at stuff, they can. So all you have to do is go into the settings and uh, turn that off. There'll be like AV brake or something, or like brake, brake right here. That's what that is, brake. You can turn that off. So, like I said, um, air conditioning, we already talked about that, but they do have a menu and it shows you like that. And you know, you can see the max AC, but they have buttons at the bottom too. So this is kind of irrelevant right here, but it almost gives that 2015 on up Ford F-150 vibes on all the other uh, Ford vehicles that show stuff like that. So that is cool if you ask me. Uh, the audio, you're gonna go through that. Uh, this, you can set your equalizer, which uh, I like to do that, you know what I'm saying? This is the user right here, you know, set the custom bands and all that. that that's pretty cool, honestly, if you ask me. The loudness, see, I don't even have the loudness up, and imagine if I had the, loud, the loudness up on here. Factory amplifier, um, hi-fi, honestly, I never mess with that, I never did. Uh, file, I never mess with that, but this the file part is whenever you could probably plug in your um, SD card or your USB, and that's probably how you're gonna be able to transfer logos onto this radio. Um, I never really went into it, I'm sorry I can't show you guys that, but you know, it, it like it's cool, but it wasn't necessary for me. Uh, the camera, you can I can view the camera right now, ta da, pretty cool, right. Uh, this, I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm not going to press that right now. Okay. Uh, info. Let's check that out. Boom. Pretty much give you... Look, you can even upgrade this, bro. Um, I think this thing does have Wi-Fi. I'm not too sure. No upgrading file found. Please down... Probably means download from Dynavin. Mm -hmm. But we're going to get out of that. Oh, Lord press the wrong button uh where we at now we can go to this we already talked about the av the ipod ipod is something like usual ipod um compatible you know radios do and uh pretty much all that you know it, you you kind of get the just if you know it if you don't know about it you plug your ipod up and it'll go into the media thing that comes out because like i said there are two usbs they're going to be one for the iLink pro uh, the CarPlay, and there's gonna be one that goes on the side right here for like, I don't know, Androids or something, or for your iPod. Well, you can put it for your iPod, and that'll be the one that'll show everything that you want to see. Um, as you can see, it keeps going back to the AV, honestly, because that's the last thing that I actually click on. But if I click on this, and if I go through the menus, and I start to mess with other things, then it'll click back on this as well. You know, it's kind of like what it presets to. So anytime you're on something and it's too, it stays stationary too long, it'll just go back to that. All right. Um, Bluetooth HDDD. Um, I don't think I really got into it. This must be another thing when it comes to like the music and all that. Um, say like, if you want to watch videos and all that, you can do right here. If you put pictures, that's kind of like for the little uh, USB and all that. 
you can do that on here as well. That's another thing I never got into. Uh, like I said, I never really got into it because I never planned on messing with that. I will plan on messing with it one day. Uh, keyboard, not that. I don't know about. Oh, it's pretty cool. I've never seen that. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be it for this uh, video on the review. Um, honestly, like you can see, the reaction time is pretty spot on versus the uh old stock radio you push things and sometimes like you know it's been so old bro it'll take forever just to go through the menu um but you know on this right here is it's pretty responsive like i said it'll go back to uh whatever i press last so right now it should be going back to my bluetooth settings so we can wait this out for a little minute and i'll definitely you know like i said it will go back to it um, let me know if you guys uh, like this radio. Honestly, if, if it's between this and the Tesla screen, I love the screen way better. Um, from my index, I think this is my index finger. No, my butterfinger. My butterfinger down to my palm. It's about uh, nine inches, I think. And uh, dude, this this screen is about nine inches. That's crazy. I didn't. I never measured it before, but I pretty much measured it now uh it's pretty cool you know it's it's a big screen so you know you're able to view it pretty pretty good see and that's just to go back to where i was and if i hit this the preset boom there we go back to the bluetooth menu anyways guys let me know how you like the video um you have any more questions about it or if you have any questions about it period then do put it in the comments below and I'll make sure I am a pretty responsive uh, YouTuber. I try to get to all my uh, subscribers all the time, you know. So, uh, if you like the video, definitely give your boy a thumbs up. And do consider subscribing. Uh, haven't came out with a video since two days ago, I think. But I've been, like, when I upload, I usually upload, like, back to back to back to back. And I'll be, like, out for a little minute. Uh, let me go. Let me know if you guys who are subscribed like that. If you don't like that, and if you like for me to get on a more like uploading schedule, then uh, I'll be, I'll be willing to try and do that and come up with like videos all the time, stuff like that. But anyway, it's your boy DVA Creation. Make sure you like the video. Definitely uh, do consider liking the video and do consider subscribing. Uh, tune in, you guys. See you guys later. Hope you have a nice day. Talking to you, man. No. Yeah, man. No. I'm talking. Yeah, it's your birthday. No. How old are you today? Two? No. Bruh. <laughs>